Hey guys, in this video I'll be sharing with you the latest updates on UK immigration and visas and this information I'll be sharing with you guys in this video will be relevant to those who are looking for sponsorship jobs in the United Kingdom, those who are planning to move into the UK anytime soon from 2023 and also those who are currently international students in the UK, you need to definitely watch this video till the end. So if you think this will interest you, don't go anywhere, keep watching. Hello guys, if you are coming across this channel for the first time, my name is Daniel, I currently reside in the UK and I share videos around traveling abroad. So if you are looking for a place to get first hand information, click on the red subscribe button below to join the growing family. And for my other subscribers, thank you guys for being here, I really do appreciate you guys. So without further ado, let's get right in to the video. Before I talk about the updates made by the UK Home Office on UK immigration, I need to share with those who are planning to come into the UK on a tier 4 visa this important information. Now, tuition fee for many programs in the UK is going very high. For international students, it's becoming really ridiculous to be honest. When I started my MBA program two years ago, um, for international students, the tuition fee was £15,500. As I speak to you now, for those coming in for the same program in 2022 and 2023, the tuition fee is now £17,500. And I also you know, put calls through to some of my friends who are also in the UK to ask them the same information and I got exactly the same feedback from every one of them. The tuition fee has increased in the last one year. So if you're planning to come into the UK and you're probably delaying your you know your admission or probably delaying your you know relocation plans, then you definitely need to start making that plan now because the tuition fee is getting ridiculous. So many people are getting two thousand pounds more to what they used to pay as tuition fee. There was a program I wanted to apply for a friend and we decided to wait till he finished his program. As of last year the masters uh, masters in business uh, masters in um, um, mental health nursing was about £15,500 per year. As at the time, he just finished his program this January 2023 and now we are about applying for the, uh, this program for him and it's now £16,800 between last year and this year. So if I want to move to the UK, start the application process as soon as possible so you don't get stuck financially when you're about to start. Now the first update I'll be sharing with you guys on UK immigration is the introduction of the e-visa. Now, if you're planning to move into the UK or you've moved into the UK in the past, you know that um, upon arrival in the UK, you need to get what is called the BLP, um, Biometric Resident Permits. Now, this is a, um, you know, the document, it's like a card. Now, this is a card that is going to show every information about your immigration status in the United Kingdom. If you're on a tier 4 visa, it shows your visa categories, shows the number of hours you are allowed to work, it shows the expiration date of your visa, and every employer in the UK will require you to provide this BRP card before they can even go ahead with your employment process, especially for those who are trying to get a part-time job while still in the UK. Now, the UK government has not decided that no, there won't be any need for you to get a BLP anymore starting from 2024. And this is because of the introduction of the e-visa. Now, for you to know how serious this update is, even for those who applied, now, for those who applied uh, for Tier 2 visa um, between 2021 and 2022, they can confirm this information I'm sharing with you guys. Um, for those who applied and got 5 years visa, they would see that on their BLP card, the um, expiration date on that card is 2024. Now, let's say for instance, um, you can only use a practical example of someone I applied for uh, last month. Now, she applied for a, um, she got a, a visa sponsorship job three years, and the visa came in um, January 2023. Now, she's supposed to have the visa till 2026. However, on the BRP card that was sent to her, it showed that the BRP card was going to expire. December 2024, which is about just two years, and she's got um, three years visa on. Now, this is because starting from December 2024, she can't use that card anymore. Everyone has to go on e um, visa, and this is basically because of the government's plan to, you know, cut illegal immigration in the UK. You can check this video to see some of the things said by the UK. Um, 
uh, the new UK Prime Minister as regards uh, illegal immigrants in the United Kingdom. So this e uh, visa is going to stay effective. Now all you need to do, if you're planning to get a job with any organization or contacted by any employer, you're going to give them what is called a share code. I recently applied for a job and I was told to provide a share code. I was surprised the employer didn't even asked me to send my BRB. All he asked for was a share code, which I'm going to put the link in the description for you to know how you can get a share code in case an employer asks you to get same uh, while trying to get a job. Now, this share code, the way to give it to them, it shows them all because because your employer would have like a login detail on the UK government website where they put in the share code and they get all the information as regards your immigration status in the United Kingdom. So I'm going to put a link below in the description of this video so you can check it out and also get to know how you can get your share code in case your employer asks for this. So this e-visa uh, e basically is just for them to be able to cut illegal immigration and also to digitize, uh, digitalize every single thing as regards everyone's immigration status. Personally, I think it's a bit risky because even if you're coming to the UK, you don't need to show them your BRP anymore. They just check your share code and check if you are you know, uh, eligible to stay back in the country. So the introduction of the e-visa is the first thing I will be sharing with you guys in the video. Now, the second thing, um, or the second update as regards to UK immigration is changes to start dates and sponsor reporting. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know that if you're able to get a visa sponsorship job in the UK, either you are resident in the UK or you are applying from the overseas, your employer definitely needs to give you what is called a COS, which is the certificate of sponsorship. I know your certificate of sponsorship is going to show your start date. Now, initially, um, the UK uh, Home Office um, usually require that the start date on your certificate of sponsorship should be when you start work. But now, the updates uh, made on the UK government website is that employers, you don't necessarily need to start your uh, start working um, based on the date on the certificate of sponsorship. You can decide to start earlier. Now, this is what it means. If you get a certificate of sponsorship that says you're supposed to start your work, let's say um, 15th of February 2023, and you got your visa, let's say 1st of January, 1st of February 2023, you can decide to start working from that second or from 2nd of February 2023. So you don't need to wait until the date on your certificate of sponsorship, and your employer don't need to uh, inform the home office as regards that you starting before the date on your certificate of sponsorship so far you've gotten your visa and you've gotten your right to work in the uk you can start working as soon as possible now however you must ensure that you start working 28 days before the date on your certificate of sponsorship now if you got a date let's say first of february 2023 to start working you can't after getting your uh, visa let's say uh, two weeks earlier or a week before you have to ensure that 28 days after you must start work within 20 days after your uh, the date on your certificate of sponsorship. Now, there can be situations that wouldn't allow you to work or to start work 28 days after the date, uh, your resumption date on your COS. And some of the, um, you know, some of the excuses or some of the reasons that has been accepted by the UK Home Office include travel disruption due to a natural, uh, natural disaster, military conf conflict or pandemic. Um, the worker is required to work out on a contractual notice period for a previous employer. Delay in Delays in the worker being able to obtain an exit visa from their country, home country, illness and other compelling family or personal circumstances. So these are some of the um, uh, should I say some of the excuses allowed by the UK Home Office if you're unable to start work within 28 days after your uh, resumption date as stated on the certificate of sponsorship you got before your work permit was issued. Now, another update made by the UK Home Office as regards relocation, um, as regards UK immigration is um, Update on the non-visa national national list. Now, if you're coming to the UK, you need what is called a tourist visa. Actually, if you're coming for major part of Africa or Asia, you need to get a tourist visa, which will go through your process before you can come into the UK. Now, however, in November 2022, the Home Office added Colombia, Guyana, and Peru to the non-visa national list. So this means that nationals from of these countries no longer require a visa to visit the UK 
or for tourism or business purpose. I'm actually praying and hoping that a day will come when Nigeria is going to make this list. <laughs> That's why we're going to be, <laughs> you know, decades to this time. So these are some of the updates that have been made as regards to UK immigration and i'm going to co keep coming to this channel to share with you guys new update that comes up so as to keep you informed so that when you're making your decisions either you're in the uk or outside the uk you can make those decisions based on adequate information at your disposal so if you find this video resourceful well, click on the like button share to your friends to ensure that they are also updated as the guy was happening in the uk and if you're coming across my channel for the first time please click on the red subscribe button below to join the amazing google family and for my ton of subscribers, thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So this will be the end of this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.